So the first thing I think I would do with inserting PDF into my Word document is I would actually make sure that I gave it a title that I could use for my document and then I would go up here in my insert tab I would go to insert object which is down in the text box bottom right insert an object from file I'm gonna browse here's just a random PDF that I have on some motor specifics motor specifications for one of my 3d printers and then I'm just going to make sure that the link to file is not checked and display as icon is not checked and then I'm going to click OK and then BAM it puts it in there as kind of as a picture but for some reason it's not when you click on a photo or a picture in Microsoft Word it's supposed to open up a new menu up here even though there's not a menu up here you can right click and we can go to crop which is going to allow us to pull that in however it comes in and then if you right click and you can go to I believe in here in layout I, I, I hate that it puts it in line with text I really want it to be probably behind text and say okay which what that does is it makes your picture a free agent you can put it anywhere you want so then I can with the crop and the behind text I can line it up and make it whatever size I need it to be uh, like I said with a normal image inserted it would give you a new menu up here for that but uh, the right click gets it done and the format kind of layout thing like that so uh, you can mess around with it a little bit there's the tools that's the way I do it um, one thing I have noticed is that it only inserts the very first page this happened to be a one-page PDF so I don't know if you have access to actual Adobe Acrobat and not but Adobe Acrobat reader but I think I don't know if reader can do this but some can Adobe Acrobat can actually pull individual pages out of a PDF. So if you need to pull an individual page out of a PDF, um, Acrobat itself will pull it out and make it make it its own PDF that's just an individual page of a PDF. Another thing you could do in that case, even with probably Acrobat Reader, is you could tell it to print page five, you know, to a PDF. So you could actually just tell it to print page five to PDF and then you would get page 5 or 6 or 10 or whatever page you needed out of your PDF. So anyways, that's it seems to work just fine for me. So let's check and see what version of 36, Office 365 I'm using. I thought it was supposed to tell you right there. Oh, there's the version. So I don't know how much that helps. Of anything but that's the version of Office 365 I'm using right here so there you go it absolutely inserted PDF in there for me appendix style I'd be ready to go with my paper just make sure you cite and reference it in your main text while you're talking about your appendix so there you go